Hi, Tim Munkert here. And in the previous video, we made um, these this uh, nav bar here uh, for my AlgebraSuperstar.com landing page. Um, we are we are making this site here. Okay. Uh, so this next video, we're going to focus on the hero section here. Okay. Uh, so let's bring back up our file. Again, uh, if you watched the previous video, you know I'm editing this in Vim. And we just finished the nav bar. So let's uh, just make a comment here at the end of the nav bar. And then we're now going to start the hero section. So I'm going to make another comment. Begin hero section. And again, to get from insert mode to normal mode, I'm just mashing J and K. That's something I've set up in my Vim RC. Uh, there'll be a link to that in the description below. Okay, so uh, using the commentary plugin, I just type GCC and I can't GCC. Whoops. Uh, let's undo that. Go down here. Uh, GCC. Okay, comment that out. Okay, so now we're ready to begin our hero section. Okay, so I'm going to start with a div, and I'm going to give that a class. The text is going to be light. Okay, and then uh, now I'm going to add a inline style for this one. Uh, now, sometimes you have to do a little fixing around with uh, with Bootstrap and doing stuff like that. So this is kind of um, a little bit of a hack, but um, it works. So I'm going to type style equals background color. And I took this from the VS Code site. So let's, let me show you how I got this color. So I go VS Code, look that up, go to their website, and let it load. Now you notice that this here is a little darker than this part. So what I did for a Chromebook is control shift and there's a little picture thing here and I can do that and take it and capture it. Okay. And it copies to my clipboard and I can take this screenshot here. Okay. And let's just rename it. So we know what it is. Um, let's just call this uh, VS code BG for background. And then I can go and find the hex color. And one resource you can do is just type hex from image and you know, a bunch of different sites will come up. Maybe I think I'm not sure if I use this one or not, but anyways, so we can go here, go click use your image. Um, and we'll just browse. So we're going to pull this up and just select that image okay and you know it's going to give us a color it gave me a little bit different color than the one i'm going to use i got uh 2c uh 2c32 but depending on what you use this is probably pretty close so anyways that's how i found the color in case you're wondering so close this out uh, so I'm going to use, for a background color, I'm going to use 2C, 2C, 32, put a semicolon, quotes, close that out. Okay, we're going to move down here. Let's move back up here. Okay, and uh, now we want a container. So I'm going to use them for this. So type dot .container with a padding on the top of 5. Now this is the pt-5 that's a bootstrap class built in i'm going to hit control y and comma and sometimes that doesn't uh fire but okay so and now that's going to give me oops and i want just pt-5 not the l here so let's delete that. sorry bear with me delete the letter there okay so now um uh within this I'm going to have a row. Now, when you're using your bootstrap, you need to have your row and then your column classes. So control Y comma. Uh, why is that not expanded? Control Y comma. Okay, there we go. Expand that out using Emmet. Okay, so um, the way we're going to break this apart, let's take a look at this. Uh, so 
you see this is a vs code this part is a little smaller than this part and i tried to kind of mimic that this part here is going to be a little smaller than this part now with columns in bootstrap it breaks apart into 12 columns and there's breakpoints so i'm going to have the breakpoint on the large uh, so when it goes from a large to a medium screen, it just breaks. And at the medium screen, this would be all the way across. This would be all the way across, stacked on top of one another. Okay. Um, the way you do that now, what I did here is I want this part to be smaller. So I, I picked this as four of the columns and this as eight of the columns. I don't know if you can see my fingers. All right. So, all right. So my first column, I'm going to type dot col dash lg because large breakpoint and then dash four control y comma okay and go down okay and then um i have this text here so i have algebra made simple uh and then become an algebra superstar so i actually have i'm using two heading two so i'm gonna type h2 uh, and then a star two control y comma Okay, and then I'm gonna type algebra, period, made simple, period. Okay, and then below that I have an H3, so H3, control Y comma, uh, and then become an algebra superstar. Okay, below that I have a paragraph, so P, Control Y comma to expand that. Uh, and I say by following the program, let's see what I typed on Algebra Superstar, you too can become an Algebra Superstar. Okay, I uh, go here and below that I have another paragraph. Now, um, Bootstrap has text classes FS-1 through FS-6, with FS-6 being the smallest. I made my own class, and this is where the style uh, sheet comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a paragraph P.FS-8, okay? And um, I'll explain the FS-8 in a moment, okay? Uh, I'm going to hit control Y comma to expand, and then I'm going to start typing. So uh, by using this website, you agree. This is the small print below. So if you're wondering what this is, this is this stuff here. Um, you agree to it. Uh, and then we have to do it link. So a control Y comma, we're just going to use a hashtag and then terms. And another link here, uh, I'm sorry, A, control I, comma, uh, another hashtag, because we're not, these aren't actually going anywhere, terms and conditions. Um, and then let me move this out of the way. So uh, put a period here. Okay. And so, all right, so we've got our terms and conditions. So let's save this. Okay, and let's now take a look and see what we've got. Okay, um, so we've got this this part starting, but now you notice this font is uh, still kind of a bit larger than here. Here is the font is pretty small. Here the font is larger. Okay, uh, so to do that, um, I'm going to go back here and I am going to open up nerd tree and go to my style.css and we have a class dot, uh, whoops, what am I doing here? Uh, so class dot, I can't type today, fs dot dash eight. Okay, and we want the font size here to be 0 0.8 rem, okay? And I'm gonna save that now. And so we see the small font is small. Let's refresh. And now we have the smaller font, okay? So we've got this part done pretty well. Uh, now, if you notice on VS Code, their site, they have this uh, centered uh, 
I spoke with my friend about it and she's like, yeah, I like these, this better left aligned. And I, I kind of do too. Uh, again, it's somewhat based off VS code, um, but uh, not exactly. Um, and feel free to base your landing page off algebrasuperstar.com um, and modify it as you please. Okay, so now the next part, we have this image here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to get that in a moment. Um, but we wanna set up our structure. So I'm gonna do Control B, Control B again, just to get back here. You can also do Control WW to get over here. Go back to the index, close out nerd tree, and let's go down here. Uh, now, how I got to the bottom of the file real quick is Shift and G. If I wanna get to the top, it's just GG, and that's in normal mode, but uh, we were at the bottom, so Shift G. Go here. Um, now I have, you also notice this, uh, you see 63 is a line number, but I also have relative line numbers. So if I wanted to quickly get back up, I could type 10K and I would jump back up here. So that's where the relative line numbers really helps out. Now Shift A brings me to insert mode to the end of the line there. Uh, and I wanna start my next column. So I'm gonna type COL-LG-8, uh, Control Y comma to expand that. And then within that, I want to have an image, so control Y. Uh, oh, hold on. Before I do that, I want some image classes. So we get the classes before we expand to Emmet. I'm going to type MX Auto. That's going to help center it a little bit. D block. And then W-75 because I want a width of 75%. Okay, so control Y comma. Okay. Now my source, I'm going to have to make a folder and I'm going to do images slash mathematics dot SVG. And I want to give some alt text. You want to put something descriptive. I typed in math. I don't know. That's the best. But um, in terms of, um, you know, uh, accessibility and uh, for screen readers and that kind of thing, you want to type in something that uh, is descriptive. Okay, so JK to get back to normal mode, save it. Now, what's going to happen? We don't have that picture. So control, <laughs> when I refresh con with control R, I just get this, you know, the alt text here and this blank picture. So we have to get the picture. Now, there's a cool site uh, that you can get pictures off. It's undraw.co. Okay, so we go here and you'll see that we have open source illustrations for any idea you can imagine and create. Um, you can use these completely free and without attribution. Pretty sweet. Uh, so I'm gonna go here and I wanna search uh, for math. Okay, and you'll see, wow, I get this thing mathematics right here. That looks exactly like the picture I used because it is the picture I use. So I'm gonna click on here and download the SVG. I'm gonna show it in my folder. Okay, and I am going to rename this mathematics because that's what I had, so I have mathematics. Okay, and I wanna take this and copy it and put it in that folder. So we're gonna put it uh, so this is the base folder for Algebra Superstar. We want to make a new folder called images in that. And then I'm going to place that file in there. So paste that in. Okay. So now we can close this out and let's refresh. Okay. And we see that we've got our hero section pretty much complete. Okay. Uh, all right. So That'll conclude this video. Um, one, one final thing we'll do before we stop the video is I'm just gonna put a comment here, end hero section, um, and then so and then use the commentary plugin to end that. Okay, so that includes this part. Uh, in the next part, we're gonna start the skills section. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please make sure to smash that like button and like and subscribe as it really helps the channel. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.